Okay, so you guys were waiting for this. Yes, I was looking for a Mareep. And I did change the time to actually try and find this Pokemon. But as you guys can see, Mareep, you can actually find in Route 32. It is a pure electric type Pokemon. It does have static, as you guys can already tell. And uh, it can be good for this very first battle. I'm going to keep on saying this over and over, guys. Not all these Pokemon are going to be on the team forever. Okay, I know I'm catching some classic Pokemon that I've been used to and all that stuff, but there will be some Pokemon that, you know, I don't... I'm totally out of the ordinary and stuff. I kind of want to try. But as you guys can see right here, here we have Mareep, the wool Pokemon. Pure electric type. If a static electricity builds in his body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Okay, and as already, you guys already know, yes, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon Fluffolt because, well... I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but it kind of made sense and all that stuff. So, say hello to Flavolt, everybody. Say hello in, a, in your language or whatever it is. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off screen, and I'm going to try and capture some other Pokemon uh, deeper in the night, and then after that, train up Flavolt just a tad bit, so we can go straight in for our very first gym battle. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so a minute later, guys... We end up finding Wooper. Again, these are all the Pokemon I kind of want to start off with and then build the team from because eventually we're going to have a pretty a pretty uh, legit team. And after you guys do the whole, uh, what was it called, um, the, the Sprout Tower, you will be able to buy, to buy yourself Netballs right here. And as you guys already know, Netballs are very good for both what was it? Bug type and water type Pokemon. So I'm going to go straight for that. And look at this. Wooper has been captured. Alrighty. You guys already know in Pokemon Crystal, Wooper, our lucky, has gotten very, very lucky. Yes. And he redeemed himself too. So here we have Wooper, the water fish Pokemon. Both water and ground type Pokemon. Very good capabilities and stuff. This Pokemon lives in cold water. It will leave the water to search for food and when it gets cold outside. Yes, we're going to be using them for, t you know, a tad bit. And then after that, you know, go straight for whatever it is that we're planning and all that stuff. But yes, we're going to give it the nickname Lucky because it's always been lucky to me. And like I said, guys, we're going to be capturing Pokemon and training. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back. And well, we did a little bit of grinding. We finally got both Lucky and Fluffled up to level 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at our two newest Pokemon, not so new, but here we have Lucky, both the ground and water type Pokemon, proud of its power, careful nature, all that fun stuff, and well, because it has a careful nature, none of its stats, oh actually, you know what, its special def defense is more effective to uh, increase and its special attack is going down. As you guys can see, it does have the damp ability where it prevents combatants from self-destructing. And well, let's see the next one, the next Pokemon on our uh, on our team, and that is uh, Flubvolt, the Mareep. Kind of finicky, quiet nature. Does have special attack, but its speed is going to be going down. But it does have the ability Static, which can cause paralysis. And well, I think we're ready to go and face the gym leader right here. Just remember something right here, guys. Even though you do have, or even though, more than likely, you will have a Fluffolt or a Mareep on your team, these Pokemon trainers are quite uh, prepared for you. So, the only man that's ever believed in us, he's gonna be like, Yo, champ in the making, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you believe, then a championship dream will come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is a weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys have a rock type Pokemon, then by all means, go for it. But like I said, these Pokemon trainers are well prepared for what's to happen because, yeah, trainers do come here with electric types or rock types. I can't believe how ridiculous high this is. But from up here, you can see or you can tell that it feels like a what it's like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. Yeah, let's go ahead. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Bird Keeper Abe, or Abe, and he's going to be coming out with a Spearow, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and just get hit, yeah, let's get hit with the Peck Attack, again, Fluffold Speed, not that big of a factor, and, well, look at this, Thundershock for the win, alrighty, so, 
some of you guys may be, may be wondering, oh wow, oh wow, he, <laughs> that was a lot of experience points, okay. Some of you guys may be wondering what kind of Pokemon team am I going to have. It's pretty simple, guys. Um, very simple. I've learned throughout the whole walkthroughs that I've been playing. You know, I've been playing over and over. Especially with this walkthrough in particular. Every team member is valuable. And it's the way you use it and all that fun stuff. Uh, there are Pokemon that I've captured. Off screen and all that stuff, and uh, there are some there are some Pokemon that I want to use, some brand new Pokemon. The only thing is that you know, you, you you find a Pokemon type that you like, has the typings that you like, but then you got another Pokemon that you like and has a similar typing and all that stuff. And you know me, I really don't like to use two two of the same typing at once. I think that's a I think that's already happened uh, in my Pokemon Fire Red at some point, and. Well, look at this. Fluffolt is kicking some butt, taking some names. Yeah, so... Coming out with the same typing, it, it just... It, it, it's got... For me, it's gotta be, like, you know, it's gotta be logical. You gotta you gotta be logical with, your, with what you choose right here, and... Uh, you know, I think we are going to be logical when it comes to the choosing of the Pokémon. I'm not just excluding uh, any other kind of Pokémon in here. We are in Generation 4 in this game right here, so... Any Pokemon that can evolve into like Generation 3 or 4 Pokemon, yeah, we're gonna definitely use. So here's Faulkner, and he's like, I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gym Leader. People say that you can clip a flying type's Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, so here it is, guys, our very first gym battle, and it is against Gym Leader Faulkner, and. He will have two Pokemon. Now, I did say these Pokemon are well prepared for both ground and electric, or actually not ground, but rock and electric type Pokemon. They will try, they will try and mess you up with your accuracy, as you guys can see. Fluffle is not that fast. It really isn't. And now that it's got two, yeah, now that it's got two uh, sand attacks on it, you get like a one out of four chance to actually hit this guy right here. Correct me if I'm wrong, and then there you go, level 12, Fluffolt, kicking butt, taking names, and here comes Faulkner's most powerful Pokemon, so let's go straight to Cinder right here, to finish off the job. You do have to have Pokemon that are a little bit faster for these bird type Pokemon, because, well, yeah, these guys, they don't mess around, and he's like, the wind is finally with us! Okay, let's go, Ember Attack, and we take half its HP. Yes, Pidgeotto is going to try and use Brute Force. So, let's go right ahead and do it again. Ember Attack. For the win! That's how you do it. Alrighty. Okay, and we get a boatload of experience points. We have defeated Faulkner. He's like, I understand! I'll bow out generously. Yes, we get our monies too. Okay, so Faulkner's like, for pity's sake! My dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. Alright. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This is this is the Zephyr badge. And there it is, guys. Throwing out that B sign, we got the Zephyr badge. Mm-hmm. With that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash at any time outside of battle. And there you go. We got ourselves a TM51. This right here. He's going to be telling us, by using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once. TM51 is Roos. It restores half the max HP. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. Make sure to, get, uh, to, to make good use of it. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. This is true. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there for this gym. And many of you guys already know what's going to happen next. After defeating the gym leader, we're gonna get called by Professor Elm, and he's gonna be like, Hello, Draven! We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon at the Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Sure, let's go right ahead and pick up that egg. Alrighty, so, let's go back and... Right here into the Pokemon. And we got two individuals right here. 
We got this guy. Good evening. A package for you. And, oh, wow. This was actually the thing that my mom gave us. Huh. Never mind. All right. So, let's see. Long time new. See, Draven, I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. This thing is, well, we would like you to take care of this egg. And we got ourselves the Pokey Egg, which, of course, will turn into Togepi. And, well, he's telling us that, yes, the person well suited for this whole thing is me. Yes, me, Draven. And, well, we're going to be taking care of that egg. Nice. And, well, let's see. What else is there to do? After you do that, you got this Kimono girl just looking at you. She's like, me, oh my. That egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor, Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly important egg. Please, please do, uh, please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. Hmm. So it came from her. Okay, so that was not weird at all. Now, I did say that I was going to go into Rock Tunnel slightly for a little bit, so I'll be right back with you guys. We're going to get ourselves a Pokemon. Okay, guys, so here we are in front of the Dark Cave. Now, there is a little something that I had to do off screen, and that was that I had to change emulators because the current emulator that I was using in order to have the better graphics was not really working inside this cave right here. Luckily, I have other emulators, uh, the Dismoo emulators, to actually help me out right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to check at what the Dark Cave has to offer. It's not a lot, not right now. You see that dark spot right there, or the, the open spot right there? Yeah, that was the thing we couldn't see. So, what's going to happen right here, hold on just a sec. Um, pressing the buttons right here. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to go straight to our Pokemon, and yes, off screen, I did capture myself a Hoot Hoot, named it Hooter. And we're going to use the flash technique, and just like that, we are now lit, officially lit. Now there's not a lot of that you, not a lot that you can find so far. As you guys can see, there are two boulders right here that you can't actually smash right now. So what's going to happen is we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon, because, you know, why not? And yes, we're going to get attacked by a Zubat. I'll catch it later, eventually. You know, make name it talks about Batman. And here we found ourselves a potion. So yeah, that's pretty much it right there for the for for, for the dark cave. Yeah. And Yeah. <laughs> it's not a lot that you can actually find right there. Um there is one more thing that I kinda wanna show you, so we're gonna speed this up just a little bit. Um let's see, where Yes, there is something that we need to show you guys, and that is that once you defeat the, once you defeat the Violet City Geom Leader, you are enabled, you can actually go straight to the southern section of the area right here, where you can actually leave uh, Violet City, going down to, I think, Route 32, where we found our good old Mareep and good old Wooper, and if you talk to this guy, he's going to notice you, and he's going to be like, what, wait up, what's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from your training with uh, you gave them around Violet City. The training at the, the gym uh, must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type Pokemon. And there we go. We grabbed ourselves a Miracle Seed, a very good held item. So, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, in the next episode, guys, we are going to be going to the Ruins of Elf for the first time. And we are going to be... What else are we gonna be doing? Oh yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we have to. We have to go down south and straight to the Union Cave. So that has been our episode. I know it's been quite, you know, quite small. Right here on the raw footage is probably like 40 minutes long, but <laughs> thank God for editing. So anywho, in the next episode, yes, like I said, we're gonna be going into the Union Cave. We're gonna be doing uh, a few things there, and then after that. We are going to be going down to Route 32 and battling a whole bunch of people. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.